I often wonder what the impact is of this type of transformative work on students. Will it not only transform their perspective, but transform their hearts? Can works like this be catalysts to reconciliation for the future? Will the future take these stories and apply them to their lives? I think it's a good way to get people to listen, you know? If you're just going to write a news article, not a lot of people are going to read it and be like as interested. But if you make some crazy cool art piece, people are going to be like, oh my god, I see that, I see the story, I want to learn more about it. The stories don't get told and it's like they should because it's traumatic and all those people went through so many things and nobody knows because they'd rather focus on other things but it's the easy way out. individual piece tells a different story, but I think as a whole, let's just like be aware of what's going on around you. One of the big themes in her art is land and use of it and how what we do impacts the future. I think that's important here because we are on Treaty 6 territory and the people of Saskatoon after seeing this exhibition can ask themselves, what are we doing here? Who is it affecting? And how can we change it? I think art is a really great medium for communicating social change because pictures worth a thousand words, right? So you don't always have to say, we need change, you can just put it into another These are problems still going on that are being ignored. And so she brought it up in her own way to like show people there's indigenous women that are still missing and are being murdered. There's still racism going on towards First Nations. It's all still there. The way she brought it up was so people are more aware and these problems are not ignored. Art is not just in drawings and pictures, there's different types of art. Like, art can be used different ways, as a coping mechanism or reconciliation, a healing process too. I think art is really powerful and it has a voice for the silent and is able to not only interrupt but also leave the door open for good conversation. And that's often where I find art has a place in our class when we talk about issues of racism and oppression you know, colonization, how we begin to decolonize. You know, there's lots of brave educators out there that are taking the stance that is often, it's hard to because you're always going against the current. And what we try to do in our classroom is just try to interrupt it and saying, you have the four walls, but can those four walls be taken down? You know, can we begin to connect to our communities? And if it's reconciliation work, it's not just textbook work. Like reconciliation, it should be an action.